today we'll be looking at the castle and kite box it's a kids box with kids activities for them to do it's uh it used to be about 30 40 dollars a month but now they've set it up that you can only get a three month subscription so now the three month subscription is 120 bucks and you get three boxes which is still not a bad deal if you ask me anyways let's jump in and have a look so a lot of this is crafty stuff for kids to do it's not going to look like much in, in pieces and to begin with, but obviously this piece of paper shows you what the stuff will turn into. So we've got a koala with paper plates and paints and stuff. We've got a wattle, so you can uh, stick your yellow paper on by the look of it and make a native Australian wattle. We have an echidna project, which seems to be some clay, some sticks and some eyes. So make yourself a nice Aussie echidna. Then we've got a boomerang to decorate. I assume a wooden boomerang comes in the box and use paints to decorate. We've got a coin rubbing, as I'm sure we all did as kids. You put the coins under the paper and rub over the top with the crayons. We have an Aboriginal flag to paint and decorate and an Australian flag to color in with the crayons and decorate. So lots of different stuff there for the kids to do all pertaining to the Australia theme for this month. And they're all just ready to go fun ideas for the kids so we have a few things in here we've got some aboriginal art symbols it's just a little printout maybe you could use these to decorate your boomerang uh, we've got a little write up here from castle and kite thanking us for reviewing the box a little thank you card that sort of says if you will review or tag us on social media you'll be in the running to win a box which is always cool next up we have our Australia flag to color in and we've got a my Aussie cafe menu I'm not 100% sure what that goes with but maybe just something for the kids to play with oh they could probably use those coins actually after they finish doing the coin rubbing to uh, make a little cafe at home so let's check out our first bag of goodies so in this first one we've got the coins and the crowns so as we said before put the coins underneath the piece of paper and rub with the crayons to do a coin rubbing and then the kids can obviously use the coins later to play house and play shop they're nice durable plastic coins great idea there from castle and kite I'll put that one to the side for now we'll check out the next one so each bag has actually got a color code on it I'm just noticing I think the color codes match with certain things so green might mean um, fine motor skills and cunning skills the yellow is may need assistance and the blue is a collage and things like that so if you look on your little book might tell you what each bag sort of skills are needed anyway so in here we have the koala project we have our paper plate some ears a nose some eyes and some bubble wrap and a paint so I think the idea is you dip the bubble wrap in the paint and pat it on the paper plate to make sort of a fur look which is a great idea from castle and kite We'll just pop that one away and find our next little bag of goodies. Oh, okay, so this one is the Echidna Project. So we've got our clay or dough, whatever you want to call it. And then we've got a whole bunch of little spikes and some eyes. I'll just grab them out so you can have a quick look. So there's the spikes, they're just like little skewers. So that one was the echidna. And there's even a few extra spikes in the box. Next up we have our glue. It's a school glue. I think that goes with the uh, the wattle projects. Yeah. So you've already got your printed out wattle and then you've got your little yellow paper to break up into small little pieces. Screw up and stick onto the paper with the glue. 
so now we have our boomerang project which is pretty cool a nice wooden boomerang here I'm just pulling out but first we have our Aboriginal flag Sorry about that guys, of course I would get a phone call right in the middle of the review. Quite annoying, but I've had to take the camera down, put it back up, so hopefully we're in about the same spot as we were before. But anyway, let's try and jump back in where we were. We were about to have a look at our boomerang project. So we have a nice wooden boomerang. And then we have some Q-tips for applying the paint. And then we've got the three indi individual paint pots of the Aboriginal colours. So you use those for the, both the boomerang and to paint the Aboriginal flag that I pulled out just prior. And I think the kids will have a great time with that running around the backyard. Throwing it at each other. No doubt having quite a ride of a time. Anyhow, we're just up to our last items. These are the Australian themed printables. Now... They printed these out for us, but I'm pretty sure they come as the printables that you guys can print out at home. So we've got Create a Koala in Four Easy Steps. We have another copy of the kids menu, another copy of the Aboriginal symbols, some boomerang that you can colour in, an Australian map, an Australian flag, an Aboriginal flag, and a page with both. So no doubt you've got plenty of pens and pencils and stuff at home for the kids to draw on and colour in these lovely printables that we've got here but okay well that's it for the castle and kite box for this month heaps of fair dinkum Aussie stuff for the kids to do heaps of creative ideas lots of mess to be made and lots of joy to be had which is what it's all about the kids will really appreciate this one and the fact that it comes once a month they'll just be waiting for it to come in the door and they'll absolutely love it